Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Zodrick and I'm back with another Construct 3 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be going over how to export your uh, Android app and put it onto the Google Play Store and also how to get it onto your Android apps without the Google Play Store. Because you can make APKs and you can make app bundles. App bundles are typically uh, used for Play Store because you can't actually open up uh, 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 app bundles on your phone but you can open up APKs. But I'll discuss that as I uh, go on with the tutorial. So in the first part, I will show you how to test uh, your Android app on your phone without the Play Store. And then I'll move on to the Play Store. So uh, a good trick that I would recommend if you don't already know is if you go to your little play button uh, on your Construct Free menu with your project open. And you click the little arrow next to it. You get dropped with a lot of options like the debug option which is really important because you can see how your uh, variables change when you're testing your game but i would say remote preview is very uh, important when testing an android game because if you click that it'll wait wait a second and it will give you this link so you can either type in this link into your mobile device or you can scan the qr code on your phone and you'll get the running you'll get an actual running project on your phone uh, so let's say you have a game and it's pretty big and it takes time to export into an APK. It's much more efficient to just uh, scan this on your phone and be able to test it without having to download a bunch of uh, files onto your phone. But anyway, now I'll move on to making APKs. So you're going to go into Menu, Project and Export. And you're going to click on Android. You're going to click Duplicate Images and you're going to click. Uh, you're going to select these two options and on Minify Options you're going to click Simple and you're going to click next. Here you're going to uh, choose the lowest version possible so that means it can support as many devices as possible because if you click let's say 10 plus uh, some older Android devices might not be able to run your phone uh, run your game and then here you're going to click signed uh, release APK and here I'm just going to clear this because we're going to make a new one well, you're going to have to make a key store and this key store, I'd say that you keep uh, private and that you also keep uh, safe because you're going to need this. Because once you publish to the Play Store, the Play Store will prefer it if you have the same key store for all your games. So let's just create one right here. I had to cut out real quickly, but okay, I'm back. So you're going to go um, create a key store. And then in create key store, you're going to type in all your details. So you're going to type in your name, your organization uh, name. Uh, uh, your organization what like the project is so usually I just type in game here your city uh, Whatever and you type in all this stuff and you type in your passwords make sure you remember these passwords They'll come in useful in a second and once you create that you click create I won't go through it because when I click on it It shows a lot of my personal data and I don't uh, Feel like having to edit all of that out because I feel like I might accidentally leave it in and once you have it You just click create and you click choose and once you have choose in your uh, file, uh, in your files, you're going to have to look for it. So I'm just going to look for it. And I'm going to search for it. And right here, here's my key store. So I open it up and I type in the name that I gave it inside the, the creation. And I type in the passwords and I can click next. I won't do that because it takes too long to create an APK. And I'm here for uh, the Play Store tutorial most importantly. Yeah, so once you click next, it will go through it and it will give you a pop-up window that says download. And you're just going to click download and you're going to have your APK pop up here. Once you have your APK, the easiest way to get it onto an Android phone is through Google Drive. So you'll open up a Google Drive window and you'll just drag your APK into the Google Drive and then open it up from your phone. But now we're here for the most important part and that is the Google Play Console. So once you type in Google Play Console into your Google search or your Firefox or whatever you're using, uh, you're going to click the one that says Google Play Console. And you, when you click on it, it'll ask you to go through a, a verification process where you just type in the email and like the, the Google account you're going to want to use. And you just basically have to accept uh, uh, a lot of um, terms and conditions that they throw at you. Uh, you're also going to have to pay $25 one time fee, which is amazing because you pay $25 once and you can upload as many games as you wish for as long as you wish. So I do recommend getting it. I see no reason why not to. It's great fun to be able to play your games on the Google Play Console and share it to all your friends. But yeah, so here you're going to click create an application. Once you get to your Google Play Console, just click on uh, Google Play Console logo just to get you to the main screen. And you're just going to create click create application. Here you're going to select your language and we're going to just type in. For now, I'm going to do test because I won't actually publish this app. This is just a fake app that I've created. And once we've created that, 
Just give it a second, it's gonna generate this file and we're gonna go through these options and I'll show you the basic ones that you need to actually get your uh, app up and running. You're gonna to have to add a short description, so I'm just gonna type in T, TT, and then you're gonna have your full description, I'm just gonna type in TT because this is not a real thing. Here you'll upload an icon, uh, which you do need to upload, so just for test purposes, I will find my uh, one for my older game and I'll upload that one. Uh, it's right here. And there we go. So I've uploaded my older one for my older phone, uh, for my older game, just so we can get through this process. And then you're going to need a few screenshots, and it's going to require you to upload a few screenshots. So again, I'm just going to click on here uh, and I'm going to go to my screenshots for this game which I should have somewhere here. Uh, just give me a second to look for them. I apologize for this. But yeah, while, while I'm doing this, you can start to create screenshots on your mobile device if you wish. Okay, I found my screenshots. I'm just gonna upload all of them. Just because it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna upload a bunch of screenshots. And then my feature graphic, uh, it shows you the size that it needs to be. So you're going to have to make a 1024 by 500 uh, pixel uh, promo image, uh, not promo image, a feature graphic. And you only need to do this one. These ones are optional. I haven't done them for my game, but I do recommend you do them if you wish uh, to, uh, in the future, promote your game. So here I'm just going to upload one of my banners that I made for my game. And then for here, you're gonna type in games or, or application, depending on what you're publishing. Category, uh, I'm just gonna do action, doesn't really matter, That's it, it all depends on what game you have. Tags, I'm not gonna do tags. And for content rating, we're gonna to have to do that later because first you need to upload uh, your game and I'll show you that as well. And then here, you're just gonna type in your email. I'm not sure whether it will ask me uh, if, if it will show suggested, so I'm gonna just pull this window out for a second just, just in case. I'm just going to type in my company email just so I don't accidentally publish that on here. There we go. Uh, and then you're going to just click save draft. And you're not, and you're going to get a green tick there, but we're going to have to come back here anyway because we're going to have to have to fill out the content rating sheet. But you can't do that until you've uploaded an APK. So now we're going to go on to app releases. And you're going to click on production and you're going to click manage and you're going to do create release. And here I just recommend clicking continue. This is, this is quite good. And this is what I said at the start. So you're going to have to keep the same key because Google is going to check whether you're using the same key. And this is just going to, to make sure that no one else can get onto your account and publish a random app that doesn't use the same key. So your key is a kind of like a password for your game for your game publishing. And also one thing you need to keep the same, once you've published the app, you need to keep your ID here. So now that we're gonna set up a project for exporting, you're gonna click on your Android app and you're gonna to have to select a name. You're gonna to have to do a version, a description and the ID. This three options, I believe are optional, but I would fill them out just in case. Uh, I'll fill out your author name, however you wish. You can add your nickname or your real name. I usually do my real name for my app releases. That's how I address myself. Uh, my company email and then my website. You don't need a website. You can type in google.com if you wish. Uh, I do recommend having a website, by the way. It's really simple to set up a website and it's great for, for your future jobs if you ever wish to have one, which I guess most people do. So you're going to fill out these options and this is the most important part. Com dot your business name dot the name of your game. So I just wrote test game. And this has to stay the same for every time you upload your game here. Once you make a new game, you're obviously going to change it. But every time you upload a new update, it's going to check whether the ID matches the ID of your new app bundle. I hope that makes sense. And it should. I'm not sure. If it doesn't make sense, tell me in the comment section below and I'll try and explain it. Or you can join my Discord and I'll help you there as well. Yeah, so now you're going to go to menu, project, export, Android. And you're going to do the same options that we did at the same start of the video. So you're going to select these two and in Minify, you're going to do simple and then next. And then instead of signed APK, you're going to go signed Android bundle. And then here you're going to enter your key store again, which we created at the start of the video. And you're just going to click next. I'm going to click X because I've already done it. I have it here because it takes some time to do it. It takes a few minutes and I don't want to waste time in this video. We've already hit 10 minutes. So now you're going to take your app uh, up bundle and you're going to drag it into here. 
and it's going to process it. Here you can add the release name, but the default release name is just going to be your uh, version name. Yeah, and that's all you need to do. I'm not going to enter here, but if you've made a new new release, you can do uh, this is my update. And you can list whatever is in the game. And you're going to click save. And for now, that's all we're going to do. And then we're going to go click uh, content rating and we're going to continue. Uh, and we're going to do a content rating uh, examination. So we're going to write our email address, our confirm our email address. I will not go through this because this is confidential. But yeah, you're going to go through this and you're going to answer really simple uh, yes or no questions. It's going to ask you, does this game have advertisements? Uh, does this game appeal to children? Things like that. Then you're going to go to uh, app content. Give it a second. And then once you finish your... Uh, policy uh, your your content rating it's gonna uh, ask you a few more questions here like your target audience and whether your app has games so it's literally going to be the same thing that you've done here and it should redirect you here automatically anyway then you're going to go on to pricing and distribution here you're going to select whether your game is paid or free my game is going to be free but once you set it to free you can no longer change it to paid once it's released so keep that in mind then you're going to go to go to countries and you're just going to click available so that it selects all the countries that are available because you want to have your game distributed to all countries possible. And then here you're just going to click uh, the content, uh, this one, and you're going to select this one. The ones that have stars, just agree to them. And that's all you're going to have to do for here. And you're just going to click save draft. And as you can see, you're going to get your tick there. And once you finish your content rating, you're going to get a tick there. And then you're going to get a tick there once you finish your target audience. Now that you have that, you're basically ready to publish. You can go through all these other libraries and check them out for yourself. It'll take probably take hours to explain what every single one does. And really, each section is a video within itself. So if you want me to do any other explanation videos in each tab, please just tell me. But now you're going to go into app releases and you're going to click on edit release on the one we just fit started. And on the bottom, you're just going to do review. And you're going to do uh, start rollout to production. But well, I'm not going to do that because uh, I am, uh, well, yeah, firstly, it's not letting me do it because I haven't finished my content rating, which you should have if you've gotten to this tap step. And I'm not going to start my rollout because this isn't actually my real game. This is just a fake test game just so I can use it for this YouTube tutorial. I hope I went over everything uh, necessary for uploading a game to the Google Play console. Uh, and right now, it takes around seven days for your game, but that's obviously because of the current world situation. If you're watching in the future, then I'm guessing you know what happened in 2020, uh, but that's irrelevant. It usually takes, uh, for me, with my other games, it took me around three days to get it uh, uh, published to the store. And once it's published to the store, your updates will take two hours to publish. So it's really quick. And if you want more information, you can just click or uh, it will give you a link somewhere here for more information. And it will take you to a Google article about how long it takes. And you can also go on Reddit and ask people because it also depends on your geographical location. So I can't speak for all. I'm speaking for anyone from the United Kingdom and probably America as well. But anyway, that is how you publish a game to your Google Play console. Uh, you can also get the Google Play console on your mobile device. You can get it on your phone so you can get notifications for when your updates are published, etc., uh, etc. Et and it'll, your game will show up here as pending for publication and then it will say published once it's done. And you'll get all your stats here. And when you click on your games, you can get uh, all your... All your stats here will pop up when you click dashboard. But yeah, that's it. My name is Orich. Uh, my name is Zodrek. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you want more, make sure to tell me in the comment section what you would like me to do. Uh, if you want more help, uh, you can ask me questions in the comment section. Or you can go to my Discord, which will be linked below. Uh, goodbye.